Good morning, everybody. The Arizona Diamondbacks are 4-0 for the first time in their 14-year franchise history after defeating the San Diego Padres 4-2 last night. Kirk Gibson thought about calling for a sacrifice when Chris Young came to the plate with a runner on first in the 11th inning. The manager ended up letting him swing anyway, and it proved to be the right decision, as Chris Young hit a two-run home run, and the Diamondbacks remained undefeated. After former Diamondback pitcher Micah Owings hit leadoff batter Dorado Parra to lead off the inning, um, Gibson thought about having Young advance the runner, but decided against the move. Young sent the next pitch into the, into the lower deck of the left field stands for his second home run of the season. Gibson at first thought Owings and the Padres might be expecting a bunt. Craig Breslow pitched a perfect 10th inning for the Diamondbacks to earn the victory against his former team, lifting Arizona to his first 4-0 start. The Diamondbacks are also the only undefeated team in the National League. The other undefeated team in the American League, actually, is the Detroit Tigers, who are also 4-0. And the only other team with more wins than the Diamondbacks this season are the St. Louis Cardinals, who are 5-1. And, um, and right now they're enjoying a half-game lead over in the NL West over the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Yonder Alonso hit a leadoff single the 11th for San Diego, but J.J. Putz retired the next three batters for his third save in three chances. So no blank saves. Good job on J.J. Putz's behalf. The Diamondbacks held a 2-1 lead before former Diamondbacks second baseman Orlando Hudson tripled his score on Jason Bartlett's single in the 7th. San Diego advanced a runner to 3rd in the ninth, but David Hernandez struck out Cameron Mabin to end the threat. Trevor, Trevor Cahill pitched six strong innings in his debut for Arizona, however had some control issues early, walked six batters, and imagine if all those six walks were in a row, the Padres would have won this game by one run. So got to work on location a little bit, despite the fact that it looked like to me that the umpire had a really tight um, strike zone. Cahill, who was acquired from Oakland in a five-player trade in December, grew up about 40 miles north of San Diego and was facing the Padres for the first time in his career. Cahill struck out five and threw four more balls and strikes 54-50. to Paul Goldschmidt's two-run double was one of the three, three hits in the first against Edison Volquez, who allowed only two more hits over the next six innings. So a little bit of a rough start there for him, but he got over it. Volquez struck out a, a season-high eight, including a stretch of four batters in a row, and issued three walks. And notes tonight uh, from last night, Justin Upton was scratched from the starting lineup with an injured thumb. He heard himself sliding into second base on Sunday. X-rays came out negative. He entered the game in the 11th to play right field. San Diego's Mark Kotze, who began the season on the DL, the calf injury, will start a rehab assignment on Wednesday for, with Class A Lake Elsinore. Joe Saunders will make his se season debut for Arizona tonight against San Diego's Corey Lupke. So, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Arizona Diamondbacks are 4-0 for the first time in franchise history, and uh, really happy for them. Um, the game today uh, will take place once again at Petco Park in San Diego, downtown, and it will start around 3 o'clock. Arizona time, about 6.35-ish, about 6.30, 6.30 on the East Coast. But also tonight, the NHL playoffs begin. And so quickly, we're going to go through who's playing tonight and uh, who I think is going to win. Um, you know, right now, as we look at the current, you know, standings to end the season, the Boston Bruins are the hottest team in the Eastern Conference. The hottest team in the Western Conference is the Phoenix Coyotes. But you can never underestimate a team like the Detroit Red Wings. Um, you know, with their experience, you know, they might be just taking it easy for the playoffs, and when the playoffs come, they, they come to play. So, um, true contenders right there. And, um, you know, after we saw the St. Louis Blues, who, you know, had the best record in the Western Conference lose to the Coyotes, and uh, along with the Coyotes, you know, winning their first franchise title as well, um, you know, in all their history, which dates back to 1979, I think that says a lot. And um, I think the Coyotes are going to go far. I mean, I don't know if they're going to, you know, make the Stanley Cup Finals because actually it wasn't St. Louis that had the best record. It was Vancouver. Vancouver um, won the President's Trophy and once again. And you know, I see, I can see the Bruins and the Canucks in the finals, but I can also see the Coyotes and the Bruins in the finals. And that depends if the Coyotes can beat um, the Canucks in the Conference Finals, which is going to be really tough. But tonight, Philadelphia, the Flyers play the Pittsburgh Penguins which should be really cool. Uh, first round of the playoffs, Yarmir Yager playing against his old team in the playoffs. I think that'll be cool. Um, Detroit um, Red Wings will be playing the Predators. Red Wings will just destroy them. And then you have the Los Angeles Kings and the Canucks. Unfortunately for the, for the Kings, they have to face Vancouver in the first round. But uh, we wish them the luck. Um, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh will be playing tonight on NBC. Um, CNBC will, hold, will uh, have coverage of Detroit and Nashville tonight. And... NBC will have coverage tonight of the Kings and the Canucks. So hopefully you guys tune into that, tune into baseball, and uh, you know enjoy your day. And subscribe to this channel.
do whatever you can to help me out. Thank you. And, and thanks to everyone who's uh, watching.